What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X back again with another Let's Game video. And in today's video guys, we're going to be playing Jaws here for the NES. Uh, this is kind of my Shark Week video, so um, there's going to be a few of these shark related video games coming up, so just kind of keep an eye out for those. Now this is, uh, like I said, Jaws on the NES. This is probably like the fourth time I've actually played this game, guys. I really never played this back in the 80s, and I uh, never rented it, never played it. Uh, I knew it did exist, but honestly, um, to me it didn't look like that good of a game, but it really does have some pretty good gameplay for an LJN game. Um, as you guys know, some of these LJN games, get criticized left and right for their gameplay and how tough they are and just how bad they are but this one's really not too bad um, does it really follow the movie as far as you know what's going on well I guess you're trying to kill Jaws uh, you're driving a boat around which I'm assuming is the orca but uh, yeah um, other than that I don't remember them killing ray fish and jellyfish and all this kind of stuff so really, the point of this game, guys, is to kill all these other, these this other sea life, and collect the shells. You'll see those conch shells pop up. The more conch shells you have, the more power you have to be able to take on Jaws and actually defeat him. Um, honestly, like I said, I don't know how many shells that takes because this is my fourth time playing the game. And it is kind of a fun game, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually enjoying playing this. Um, might be something that I might try to take on and try to defeat. Um, looks to be pretty tough though. This is definitely not an easy game. Uh, the first few levels or first few screens are kind of easy, but then after that, yeah. I'm just kind of sticking to the bottom of the screen here, guys. As you can see, it just makes it... Whoa! Maybe it doesn't. There was a shark there. Now, that wasn't Josh, Jaws. That was <laughs> like a baby shark. <laughs> baby shark. <laughs> What's that song? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, also, guys, how do you guys uh, feel about Shark Week? Do you guys dig the Shark Week thing on the Discovery Channel? And I, I believe ne uh, National Geographic also does it as well. Um, me and the wife love this time of year. We love watching these shark videos and learning about these amazing millions of years old predators. Um, you know, honestly, sharks have been around far longer than us humans have been. Um, and that goes to show you how good of a predator they are. Uh, in nature, if you can't make it uh, as a species, you're going to go extinct. And sharks have been around for millions of years, even before like the dinosaurs, I believe. So, pretty cool. So with this uh, game here, guys, uh, like I said, you just got to keep killing things, collecting these shells. Uh, eventually, like after I kill the shark here, it'll go out of the screen and go back to the boat screen. But it actually might go to the bonus screen after this. Yeah, it did. Uh, so in this, you're in the boat and you got to... Oh, no, you're in a plane. My bad. You're in a plane and you got to drop these bombs to try to kill these jellyfish. Kind of reminds me of the Galaga bonus stage, honestly. Uh, also, guys, if you guys hear a fan in the background, uh, I do apologize for that, but uh, it is a hundred and f what? Let me see, two degrees outside right now in Colorado, which is plain ridiculous. Um, now, granted, it is summertime, but uh, we are in like a week full of these triple-digit temperatures now, and uh, honestly, I'm getting kind of sick of it. Um, I've been kind of putting off YouTube because of it because I know how loud the air conditioning is in the background But uh, yeah, I just couldn't put it off anymore. I had to do a little bit of YouTube here guys So anyway, this is the bonus stage about done with it here. I think Yep, there we go All right 17 bonus shells collected is five so, like I was saying, the more shells you have, the more powerful you are, the more... Ah, there's Jaws right there, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit him. Just kind of show you what Jaws is like. So, first, got to take him on with the boat and throw these bombs at him. Then, he'll knock you out of the boat. And then, you got to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah, definitely pretty interesting here, guys, with this. Taking on old Jaws. 
But this is a fun game, and I say it de definitely does have some replay value, and of course I died. Yeah, like I said, this is like my fourth time playing this, guys. I played this like three times before I started recording just to kind of get how to play it. I had to read the instruction manual and all that other stuff, too, just to kind of see what we were doing in the game. Like I said, I've never played this, so uh, it's kind of cool to play. Oh, now we're in the shallow water, so it makes it even harder. So I'm definitely going to die here. But it definitely makes for a pretty cool game here, guys. Um, I'm actually going to try to defeat this. Not not this go-round, but off-camera. Probably tonight. Anyway, that's the end of Jaws, guys. So this was released in 87, I believe it was, for the NES uh, by LGN. Yep, 87. So let me go ahead and kick on the uh, Atari 2600 here. We're going to play another shark-related game that has kind of similar gameplay. And that is Sequest here. Object of this game here is you have your divers down there and you gotta collect them and basically save them from the shark infested waters. There's also submarines that shoot at you and other things in this too, like those subs right there. So you just kinda have to avoid all that. Also you have to go to the top here like that to get some oxygen so you don't run out of oxygen. And then once you have six divers, you go back to the top and that completes the level for you. So this is a pretty fun game. This definitely has some replay value. And this game I did have back in the 80s and I remember playing this. <laughs> I was actually pretty good at this game back in the day, but nowadays, eh, not so much. Uh, it's been years since I've actually sat down and tried to play this game, so we'll see how far I get. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy here, but uh, we'll see probably gonna die pretty soon <laughs> like I said I don't have much practice at this but this game is really fun and this is one of the early Activision games on the 2600 so if you're an Activision fan this is definitely you know right up your alley uh, this is definitely your your Activision fix per se but as you guys can see just kind of collect your divers go get oxygen just keep going and going and going and of course I died. Yeah, controls are pretty touchy in this game, so you gotta be real careful. Yeah, see what I mean? Well, that's like all Atari games, it's kinda way it goes. I'm just gonna collect those guys and go to the top here and finish the level off. There we go. Alright, so once again another shark related game. Uh, so, kinda cool to see some sharks again, so you're just saving... What killed me there? Was it that sub? I don't know. But it's kind of cool to see another shark related game, even on the 2600 here. Um, for our Shark Week special here, I guess is what you want to call it. The, the Let's Game Shark Week special. So I'm going to try to post some more of these shark games this week. There's a few more that I kind of want to show you guys, not just on game consoles, but on old classic computers as well. Get some oxygen there. Um, uh, and that's it guys well anyway I wanted to thank all my subscribers and everything and if you haven't subbed go ahead and click that sub button and hit that like y'all have a great one peace out y'all game over man it's game over